Hello everyone, Dustin Hartzer here from YourWebsiteEngineer.com and today I have a few more things that I want to show about WordPress 3.5 that I didn't on my previous video and these are some things that I really wanted to highlight and I honestly kind of forgot about them or I didn't know about them. They're new things that I'm learning as we're going about it. I want to show you how to turn on this welcome screen if you've dismissed it. I'm going to show you a little bit about favorite plugins and we're going to look in the media library just a little bit, the media gallery to see how that has changed. So first thing first, I want to share about this WordPress, um, welcome to WordPress area. And this is just an area that is a very helpful area for new clients to kind of figure out how to get through and how to navigate through WordPress. If you are a full-time developer like me, or you use WordPress a lot and you don't need this for right now, while you're developing, you can go ahead and click the dismiss button right there. That's going to shrink that and disappear it. And you can just see your normal dashboard. Well, what happens if you release this product or this website to a client and you want that back. All you have to do is go up to screen options and look for it in the welcome box. Just check that and then it's right back there. It's very first top and center. So that is one cool thing that I wanted to share with you and that I forgot to do the first time. The next one is I want to share, show you the, the new plugins area and the ability for, um, you to see plugins, your favorite plugins and things like that. So if we want to just go ahead and go to new plugins, we can go to the favorites area. And if you just put your username in there and you can go ahead and create uh, and you can find what your favorites are. I'll go ahead and put mine in. I don't have very many as of right now. I think I just have the Yoast plugin. And so this will show me all the different plugins that I have favorited. Now, if you want to figure out how to get a username and password, what you want to do is just go over to WordPress, wordpress.org. And then the easiest way I've found has just been to click on any of these links. So maybe on click on themes and then just put your username and password. If you don't just have one, just go ahead and click register. Now, the really cool thing about, uh, about this area right here is you can put anyone's username in there. It doesn't have to be your own username. So Let's go ahead and try um, Ryan Emmel and see what he has. He's over from WPCandy.com. Let's see what kind of plugins that he has. So there you go. You see that he has three plugins that are favorited. So you can go ahead and you can just go ahead and we'll just, we'll click on uh, simple badges and we will install the simple badges plugin right from there. We can activate it and boom, we are good to go. So this is a very great tool. If you are a developer who's always adding the same plugins over and over again, you can just go to that, that that favorites area and then just click and add them. The only problem is you can only add them one by one. So if you go back over to the favorites area, there's no way to install multiple ones. So every time that you add one, you have to go back to this area, to the favorites area. You have to go to add new and then to favorites and to add that. So that is one small downfall of of installing the things from plugins. It would be really nice if they had a checkbox right here where you could highlight all of them or click and highlight a few of them and say go and then install three, four, five, ten of them at a time. I'm sure we will see that in an upcoming version. And the last thing that I want to share today is a little bit about the media library. The media library has changed a little bit. It looks a little different. I mean, right here it looks pretty much the same, but when you go in to add a new item, it really looks the same as well. Where you're really going to get the new experience is under the post section and we'll go under test post and in the test post area let's add a new media item right from here so this is where you'll see some of the the differences you can create a gallery right from here you can click on the images that you want to add to the gallery and click new gallery and then you can also set featured images so let's go ahead we'll just create a new gallery with this information with these two and then we'll insert this gallery and we'll hit update now let's go view this post and then you can see it's got my upside down picture and then it's got the gallery. And so you can click on each of the images and this, this can be fine tuned a lot more. It can be a lot of things can be done with this, but I just wanted to show, um, how, how, when you're in here, you can see that you've got the two posts. This is, these are the two things, um, that are in the gallery and then you can click on each one of them and it makes them bigger. And so that's just a really cool way. It's built right into WordPress. It makes a lot of sense to use that and uh, really excited to see that in WordPress 3.5. One other small little thing that I'll point out in this video as well that has changed underneath the hood. If you go to the settings area, you'll notice there's no longer a privacy setting. That used to be, there used to be a tab right down here that said privacy. 
and that would there was a little checkbox that said please allow search engines to search my site well that is a thing of the past that is um, actually stored in another menu that that feature now is under the reading area and it is search engine visibility and it says discourage search engines from indexing the site so by default it is on and so if you are doing a dev site or something like that you want to check that box to turn it off so this this area has pretty much stayed the same and then the one last thing that I wanted to point out is the writing area. Remember how you had to go in here and turn on the ability to post from a WordPress app um, on a phone or a tablet? Now that's turned on by default. You don't. You no longer have to remember to do that. So that is tur turned on. That was something that was in the writing settings and that is no more. Okay, and one last thing that I want to share with you that I think is really, really cool, and it is something called O embeds. And I didn't know anything about this till I went to a local meetup, which they talked about O embeds, which is really, really cool. So let's go ahead and show what that is. Let's go ahead and add a new post, and I'm going to say O embeds embed post. And so what an O embed is, is the easy embedding feature that uh, is used in WordPress that allows people to, that do not have to copy and paste things into the HTML editor to do an embed. And so you might be familiar with this with, um, with YouTube videos. And so YouTube was the very first one, I believe, or one of the first ones that I knew about that you could actually go to youtube.com and you could pick any video. We're going to do this one since it's first. You could highlight it, copy it, and then paste it in, just paste it directly into WordPress. Hit publish, and then view post, and your site, it would automatically show. Now I have um, flash turned off, and so that's what I had to click on right there, but then it will show automatically exactly the, the YouTube video. So that's all you have to do. You have to just find that URL and paste it directly into your, your, post area. And so that's really cool. What they have added in WordPress 3.5, they now have access to Instagram, to SlideShare, and SoundCloud. So let's just do a SoundCloud real quick. SoundCloud is a service. SoundCloud is a way that you can embed audio clips very easily to your website. So this one's really pretty cool. Let's go ahead and see if we can find... I don't know if I can do this without being logged in. Yeah, here we go. Let's say we want to share this. We'll click on share. And of course, this is frozen up on me. So let's go and open up another thing. See if we can get a share from another another area. So let's just go and uh, let's just do, let's click on the link and copy this link and see what happens when we add it to WordPress. Let's see if it will automatically embed something something really neat or if there's anything else that we need to do. So that's been updated. So if we refresh the page and, and reload this page after we've added that, then we can scroll down and we will see that there is the video and here is the O embed. And so we can click play and it will begin playing, which is really cool. Like WordPress is getting a lot of technology out there and, and adding it so you can easily embed these things. So I just want to, here's a rundown of all the different links that you can embed from. You can Im embed from blip.tv, dailymotion, Flickr, funnyordie.com, Hulu, Instagram, Quick, Photo Bucket, Poll Daddy, Revision, Scribed, SlideShare, SoundCloud, SmugMug, Twitter, Vidler, Vimeo, YouTube, and WordPress.tv. So those are a lot of really cool things. Those are the main different points that I wanted to share with you about WordPress 3.5. So now it's your turn. Is there anything that you have found in WordPress 3.5 that I haven't covered on either this video or the previous one? If so, let me know. You can send an email to Dustin at yourwebsiteengineer.com. And for more great training tips and techniques and a great podcast, go over to yourwebsiteengineer.com and, and check things out. That's all I've got for you today. Take care now. Bye-bye.